Hey everyone, it's good to uh, sit here as the new V8 Supercar Champion, which is pretty cool to say it like that and to, to have it sound like that. Um, thanks for obviously everyone's support and stuff over all these years to, uh, to finally get it done is huge. Um, it's been a bit weird to finish, to be honest. Um, we sort of finished Sunday night, um, celebrated Sunday night, Monday night, and then come home Tuesday, and then Wednesday I've been uh, all locked up with, uh, yeah, anyway, the ankle and two screws out and, and a few ligaments and stuff that were a bit dodgy, so um, sat on the couch for the last week doing nothing, so uh, kind of a weird weird way to celebrate, but um, yeah, lots of questions tonight, so thank you. There's 106, I think, already, and whatever uh, people write as we, as we do this, so... Um, I'll try and get through as many as I can and not uh, obviously not double up on them. But, um, yeah, thank you for everyone's support throughout the year and, and uh, to finally get it done is really cool. Um, I'm going to give away my, uh, my race shirt from this year. So it's kind of, uh, kind of cool, my thermal shirt that I've worn throughout the year. So um, but what I'm going to do is so I'm going to get people to post their photo. Whoever's had a photo with me, uh, this year, last year, whenever, um, post it on this post, um, the picture, and uh, we'll choose one from that. So, um, yeah, going to give away my thermal shirt. We only get three of these a year, and uh, it's a championship winning thermal shirt. So it should be pretty cool. So uh, post your pictures to the link uh, on this post, and um, we'll, we'll choose a winner from that. So I think that's probably the fairest and coolest way to do it. So I'll hit some questions. Um, first one's uh, from uh, congrats on the championship monkey off the back how focused are you and the team going back to back um, yeah it's good it's good to get the monkey off the back I think it sort of stops all the uh, all the, the bad stuff that people can say really because um, you know, I think we've won 34 races in my career of won Bathurst and won the championship now and so is the team so no one can really attack you with any negativity we, we We've actually delivered now, and um, and I feel like the pressure's off, which I think I should drive better, to be honest, but uh, we'll find out next year. But I think we can go back to back, whether it's um, me or, or Chaz or whoever's in the other cars. Um, I think we're, we're definitely going to be strong. I think the cars are going to be strong. We've got really good funding for next year, and, and uh, things are looking good. My engineer is in his second year now. That was his first year as an engineer, so... Um, Big effort for him too. He's now learnt a lot. So for me, I think we we should be stronger. But I think every team stepped up too. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to have every crack we can to go back to back. Uh, now that you've won one championship, do you think you would attack an entire season differently um, towards the end of the year? Uh, protect the lead rather than race flat out. So I'm asking now you have won, would you be more inclined to go harder at each race at the back end of the year? Um, to be honest, you just do whatever you have to do to win. There was um, there's points where I don't think our car was good enough, but the Gold Coast definitely wasn't good enough, but um, the pit lane crash sort of put us under pressure. Um, but, you know, you, you try not to take risk. Instead of going for setup risk and stuff, if... We could finish fourth, then we will finish in fourth. But we actually come on quite strong in terms of qualifying speed. Um, I had one pole position all year until the end, and then I had one at Phillip Island and one at, at Homebush, and probably should have got the second one at Homebush too, but uh, uh, had a little issue on my lap. So, um, yeah, I think we could have got a couple of poles. We lost a bit of race pace, but um, we picked up quality speed, so we'll have to work out sort of what went on there. But... Um, uh, I think if we win again, um, really, you, you don't throw away races if you don't have to. And if you win Homebush or you don't win Homebush but you win the championship, that's the ultimate goal. So I've always raced smart and um, I don't think I'll change that. But I think the weight's off your shoulders now. So I think next year we'll uh, be able to race relaxed and um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully that sees better results. Uh, you're amazing this year to watch, so focused. How hard was it to keep that focus and how did you do it? Um, it, sort of, it, was, it was good this year. We had a good car, had a lot of the times. In that middle period when the car was really good, we, um, 
I pushed really hard to to try and go for the wins, and and I think we won nine out of eleven races or something in that middle period. So um, yeah, really went hard, but uh, um, at the end you just had to sort of do what you had to do to win it. So um, uh, I was always confident, um, not overconfident, but I knew that I had control, even though the media and people were trying to dramatise it. I always thought I had control. So um, you know, experience and know that I was in, in front and I thought I had a good car and a good team at the end. So, um, yeah, always confident, but one slip at home, which could have really hurt. So uh, it was nice to go there, race hard and, um, uh, and, and then, yeah, do a good job. So um, now that you've done it, you've got more experience. Uh, how is the recovery from surgery going? Uh, it's not, not that enjoyable. I've got... Um, uh, I had went in for pretty well keyhole surgery, which would have been five day turnaround before you know you were back running and stuff. But um, uh, when we went in, um, went under and then woke up and then uh, realised instead of having keyhole, I had a ten centimetre cut down my foot and um, had a few tendon issues and stuff going on. So uh, recovery is about five weeks instead of five days. So it's yeah, a bit annoying. Haven't walked for the last um, since Wednesday last week, and been on the couch and been on crutches. So um, yeah, check up tomorrow. Hopefully, it's yeah, it gets the all clear to walk in a moon boot, and then it's, it's exactly like breaking it again. So it's the same amount of recovery time, and do it properly. But hopefully, you yeah, only do it once and get it done. But it's not enjoyable at the moment. But hopefully tomorrow we can start walking again and and. Uh, and get going. It's kind of bizarre that both FP or PRA guys are injured at the moment. It's kind of a bizarre, bizarre off season for our team. Uh, what have we got? Remember, I remember you've said in the past that you loved the gold wheels on the Bodlo car since they were and are still a thing back in Southwest India. You're tad upset you're not getting the gold wheels um, on the Bodlo car. I, I I, um, I've always wanted black wheels to be honest, so I hope that they put black wheels on it. But um, from the inside, it looks the same when I get to see the wheels. But I think uh, the gold wheels are cool, but I think the black, like a set of matte black wheels, would would look really tough. So uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can change the wheel colour. But either way, I think the castle looks pretty good. Uh, what are your thoughts on the gen next gen cars coming? Um, I think it's a good thing. I think uh, the engines are the big thing that we can uh, that we can sort of change our sport a lot. But um, but to be honest, I think in two thousand and seventeen we'll all run the same cars that we've got now. So I don't think, although the next gen is here or will be here, I don't think uh, I don't think we'll be changing. So. It's good, it gives you the option, but I really doubt that 25 cars, I think they'll remain the same come 2017. I could be wrong, but uh, it's a big cost to change. So I think you'll see things 2018, 19 start to get implemented, but at the moment, 2017, although the rule changes, I think it'll stay very, very similar. Um, congratulations on the win. Are you releasing a replica of your helmet this year? Also, how hard is it for you, both Renee and yourself, to run your social media pages? You would see a lot of keyboard warriors. Um, I think, yeah, we're going to release a helmet, which will be really cool. It's um, a pretty special helmet, this one, so uh, um, we'll definitely release that. The, um, the social media stuff, it's, it's good you do it yourself because people want to read, obviously, not a lot of uh, what managers would write and stuff, which a lot of guys out there have got people writing their stuff for them where we definitely do it ourselves, but at the same time you cop some stuff on there that um, you really shake your head at because whether you have an opinion or not, end of the day you're human and some people just don't act human. So it's, um, but they're the ones that get blocked and, and then uh, they don't stay on your page, so you try and get rid of them. But, um, but there are more good than there is bad and the amount of support, you know, I, I don't want people just, um, writing, you know, lovey dovey stuff if there's something going on. So you want you want um, people saying what they think, but at the same time, you someone when people abuse you personally or or um, stuff like that, it's um, it gets a bit a bit rude. So, um, but that's no, pretty good. Normally, it's pretty good. 
Um, one question, can you start off with a win in Adelaide? Uh, <laughs> that'd be nice. Yeah, Adelaide's the only round I haven't won a race in the championship, so every track I've won a race on except for Adelaide. I finished second, I think, four times. So, um, yeah, but normally I've started with a new engineer as well and stuff, so I'll start the year fresh and new and learning and whatever, and come round two or three, four, we start to hit our straps. So this year or next year I get the same guy and hopefully we can start Adelaide strong. So um, it'd be nice, it'd be nice to win that race. It's a massive race and it's the one on the list of tracks that, that I haven't got yet. Uh, question is about the debate over whether Homebush should remain as the season finale. How would you feel as a driver and also being from Western Sydney if that event was replaced? Um, I, I think Homebush is good. Um, it's a big event, but uh, at the same time, I know it costs a lot of money to to go there. Um, so I'm sure there's reasons why we may have to do it or may not do it. But um, uh, it looks, yeah, you know, it, it looks like um, Gosford may come on, reading all the the uh, the mags and stuff. So if Gosford comes on, then that would mean there's three uh, or four effectively with Bathurst in New South Wales. So well. Uh, yeah, one may go, but uh, who knows? It's um, it, it would be good if they could keep them all and just race everywhere. But um, I know they lose money going to Homebush, which isn't ideal for the sport. So uh, um, yeah, time will tell. Uh, is there Pepsi Max Crew next year? Um, well, Pepsi Max Crew uh, was part of. Um, uh, obviously part of the name with the major sponsorship on the car. So next year my car is the Bodlo car and Chaz is the super cheap car. So um, so in terms of the Pepsi Max crew, uh, it's yeah, it won't be called the Pepsi Max crew anymore. It'll be called the Bodlo crew or Bodlo racing team and the super cheap auto racing team as well. So, um, so it will change for next year. Uh, what was the best thing about the FGX? Uh, well, put number one in it was pretty good, um, but, but the car was good this year. It's not aero. People complain about aero and all that sort of stuff, but you get to some of those tracks, Bathurst, um, where it's all aero. The Volvo was still very quick, and obviously the Commodore was still very quick. Uh, Phillip Island, very high aero track. Um, the Commodore was very quick. The Volvo was very quick again. Um, the Nissans were quite quick. So. I think the arrows were, were very equal. I just think our guys did a very good job in that middle patch of the year and it made it look like people were complaining about aero, but I just think we did a better job, to be honest. And um, Yeah, it's nice to have that same car going into next year. I really think all cars are equal. So the FGX, I think the guys did a really good job underneath um, the car, all the things that people can't see. But, um, but yeah, it was, it was good under brakes. Braking was the biggest advantage this year that we – struggled in the past and, and we finally uh, finally got on top of. Uh, did you get any acknowledgement from Ford for the championship win and do you see them changing their mind on sponsorship? Um, I got uh, yeah some good good um, acknowledgement from Ford, not necessarily Australia, but um, the president of Ford and in, in America and stuff was uh, was sending emails. So it's it's really, really cool that um, you know, America were on board and, and supporting me. Um, but there's lots of people who were at Ford who uh, are not there now, who were previously there as part of my, my, my lead up into this and stuff. And they, they've sent me messages. So there's still, um, you know, there's been a lot of change at Ford. And, and to be honest, I don't know a lot of the people at Ford now. So, but they still thank you. They still, um, you know, congratulate you and stuff. And I still appreciate what they've done for me too. So, whether they support you now or not, um, I wouldn't be in this sport without the hundred thousand dollars they put in, in in two thousand and three. So I still really appreciate everything they've done, and um, you know respect whatever they do. But um, but they definitely know that we won the championship, and I'm sure that helps. And but all the fans are the thing that really helps. You know they buy their Ford gear and and uh, and support us, and um, that you know the loyalty to the people who support us is is far more, you know, great than anything else. So, um, but we'll be forward next year. We'll be running the Falcons. So, again, we'll be back in the Ford colours and 
and running again, trying to do our best, and, and they support it, which is good. Uh, will it be harder for the team to manage both yours and Chaz's stops in the pit lane next year, as you'll be pushed further down the order compared to the last few years? Um, not really. I think uh, uh, the first garage will be Triple Eight. The second garage will be um, Lowndes, Caltex, and uh, Techno, whoever they are, Will Davison, and then um, we'll be the next garage. So effectively, instead of being garage two, we become garage three. But um, yeah, that, that's actually not too bad. It can work for you if you've got two cars ahead of you and they pit on the same lap and you come in exactly behind them and then come out and do exactly the same pit stop time, you can box that car in. So being behind people isn't that big a concern, um, but being in front lets you have a clear pit lane majority of the time. So it can work for you, it can work against you, and um, we'll be making sure it works for us, not against us. And the garage position is what it is. I think uh, we, you know, we should have won, obviously, the team's championship, but when we lost... Chaz, that, that pretty well lost that chance, but um, you know we, we, we did so well to hold on with one one guy and then having fill-in guys for those those couple of races and missing a whole Bathurst. So I can't believe we finished so close to winning it, let alone um, you know only just falling short. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy where we are in garage position. I think it'll still work quite well. Um, are your boys happy that you are changing from a blue car to a green machine? Um, yeah, they, they don't mind. Um, it's going to be a bit weird to to wear green. I think, uh, um, you know, for 12 years I've worn blue and, and whatever, so to be now uh, um, green is kind of weird, but uh, it's cool. It's, it's kind of strange as well because Dave's, you know, we're taking over that colours and whatever, so you sort of feel like you're Dave when you put the kid on because the, the you've seen him for so many years but uh yeah it's it's going to be good i think you know change is good and the bodlow guys are really good fun and they're a really good sponsor and um you know they're really good support for us so uh yeah i'm looking forward to it i think change is good and i think the boys are going to love it uh who do you think will be the biggest threat of back-to-back -back titles as we all want to see I think your teammate Chaz. um i don't really know i think uh you know, I think the Triple Eight guys have really hit their straps, but there's a lot of change that's happened in the sport. There's guys that have gone to new teams. There's um, you know drivers that I think have stepped up. I think Fabian will go very well. I think uh, um, you know Van, uh, Van Giers will go quite well. I think Will Davison will go very well. So there's lots of people who are changing, but uh, um, but I think will really step up. So very hard to tell, but I think we'll be strong. Our team will be strong. Chaz will come back in after four months off, which will be it'll be tough um, for him to come back in. But you know he's been very quick, so if he picks up where he left, um, then uh, that he'll be very strong. But I really see so many people uh, next year in, in contention, so it's going to be very tough here. Um, one who I'd like to ask is where to from here? Are there any goals you still have in motorsport before you call it quits? Um, oh, I've still got lots of goals. I've still got a long way to go. I think um, I've got three years left on my current deal, so that will take me to 2018, I think it is. Um, but, yeah, I want to win more championships, win more Bathurst, uh, win the Clips of 500. Um, yeah, lots of races, winning Malaysia, all those sort of things. So um, I never race for uh, just to make up numbers. I race to win, and that's when that dies, that's when I stop. So... Um, so yeah, I've got a lot, a lot that I'm racing for still, and um, super motivated to get back into it. And um, yeah, I really yeah, love to win another championship, love to win more Bathurst. You know, it, it, there's a lot still that uh, that I really like to do. I have followed you most of the time with all your cars in varying sizes, but mostly 118. So proud when the championship. What's your ambitions now? Sorry, same question, but. Um, yeah, ambitions now is to go and defend this championship because it's great to win it and, uh, um, you know, winning is one thing, but, you know, you've got to be a good champion and you've got to defend it. So I'm really motivated to go and try and win it again and, and do that number one proud and 
not just be a, a one-year winner. You, you want to try and defend it and do the best you can. Uh, with a championship under your belt, do you feel a weight has been lifted off your shoulders? Um, I, I do because I think that I've had a really good career and, and um, won a lot of races and, and done some really cool things. And without a championship, those those races didn't have the credit and the credibility. I think that you know that I sort of held them at. So um, to win a championship makes all those other wins uh, really spe or even more creditable and, and more special. So um, yeah, it definitely makes you feel uh, a bit lighter. And I think next year I, I don't feel any pressure at all. So I go in and really I think I can let loose and and uh, and race hard. So. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the break and then I'm looking forward to defending this championship. Uh, we all know Ford Australia is officially or stopped back in the V8s this year and there are rumours circulating about Ford USA bringing Mustangs in. If that didn't eventuate, what would you be open to driving instead? I can't ever imagine being a Holden personally or would you go to a different racing format? Um, well, I pretty well race whatever the team build, so... Um, so my deal is for three more years, and if they went to another manufacturer, well, um, you know, I'd have to go. But I don't think they will. Ford's very important for this sport, and uh, you know, I think I think there'll be a future for Ford. I really think. Um, uh, yeah, I really think they'll be. You know, we're definitely running the next year, and I think the future looks promising. But we'll we'll see what happens. So. Uh, um, but, you know, Ford, it's important they're in the sport. And, you know, like I said, I've raced Ford for 12 years. I'd be disappointed to race anything else. But at the same time, if Ford don't support it, then you, you can be jobless. So um, you have to follow what the team decide. And whatever they do, you, you're back 100%. Uh, congrats on a fantastic and well-deserved championship. I lost my dad and great mate two years ago. and wish he was here to see you do it. I got my blue blood and passion from anything to do with motorsport from my dad and seeing how much your mum meant to you. I'd like to know what traits or passions did you get from her? Um, oh, you, you got lots of lots of traits and stuff. Probably the, the whole fighting thing and, and not putting up with any, um, any, any rubbish, to be honest. I think she was a pretty uh, straightforward person. So, um, yeah, they, they definitely, you know, teach you a lot, but... In terms of driving, they, they teach you how to fight and, and not give up and, um, you know, keep keep going. And um, you know, I think my, uh, with, you know, with my racing, I've sort of shown that, you know, you don't give up and, and ultimately there's an end goal. And, um, but, yeah, she, she taught you lots of things. And for this sport, it was pretty, pretty good to be a bit hard and not care so much about all the things that go on and, and also always fight to the end. So um, you definitely learned some good things. Um, was Chaz with you guys in the pits to complete the family? Uh, he was there Friday, I think, or Saturday, but I um, uh, didn't see him after that on the weekend in the garage. But he was, um, I think he was doing a few appearances and stuff out there and, and also he's pretty sore as well. So uh, I know what it's like now having a sore ankle. You, you just want to lie down and chill out sometimes. So... Um, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty tough, but he was there and, and uh, you know, obviously keeping an eye on everything too because he's back next year, so um, you know, I'm sure he's missing it and um, would have wished that it was him fighting for it too, but he was, he was there to, to support on Saturday. Uh, do you ever feel like driving like you're on the racetrack when you're on normal roads? Nah, never, never like that. Um, normally just put cruise control on and drive slow and and then uh, watch all the other people drive like they're on a range track, which it's a bit scary, but um, no, nah, pretty pretty good on the roads. Does family life sometimes get in the way of motorsport and is there any driver past or present that you would want as your co-driver? Um, no, family life doesn't. They're, they're a big supporter of it, but um, yeah, you're going to have a balance, which is good. I think having family sort of takes your mind off it, which... Um, which is nice because if you live and breathe it, some of the drivers do, they just they just become bitter because uh, um, it's all you live for. And when it doesn't go well, you just when it's going well, you're happy. But when it, the day it doesn't, it, um, 
uh, it could turn horrible. So uh, I think the balance is really good. Um, as terms of a co-driver, I think yeah, it's hard to tell you. There's so many good drivers, so um, I don't know. I'll be I'll be a co-driver one day with some main guy, and that would be cool to actually be the co-driver and be the um, be on the opposite side of it. So, um, but in terms of co-drivers, that's a good ones I've had. Uh, uh, you know, Richo for quite a few years. Um, I had Steve Owen. Uh, who else have I had? I've had Bagwana. I've had um, Larkin one year. I've had uh, Luke Yulden, Matt Halliday, uh, Mark Noski. I've had quite a few guys. They're all really cool in different ways. So, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But one day you'll be that co-driver, which will be quite, quite cool as well. Uh, we'll do a couple more. I'll give a shout out to Riley and Lexi. Hey, Riley and Lexi. Big shout out to you guys. Um, next one was, what was your favourite race win this year? Um, probably Townsville, to be honest, the back-to-back -back at Townsville. It was uh, pretty cool to, to race Saturday. I had a, a really bad tyre wear car and had to really hold on those last laps on Saturday. And then Sunday, my car was a jet and I just took off and pretty well just cruised for uh, for 72 laps and that was really, really cool to, to turn that around. So, um, uh, yeah, probably Townful, but the best race of the year for me was Bathurst to, to finish second and uh, effectively 20, 23rd we were on the track with 45 laps to go. We um, uh, definitely was one of the highlights. So probably Bathurst is the best race, uh, but probably Townsville is the best win. Uh, we'll do a couple more. What was your lowest point in the year and how did you get through it? Um, lowest point was in pit lane and at the Gold Coast, just getting sent into another car. We we had the championship won, um, you know, I think about 400 and something points. Um, Triple Eight were out and I was driving good. I felt like I qualified well, I was running, running second or whatever it was. Um, and then I you know, had no mirror on the right hand side and got sent into another car. and. That was um, that was the biggest biggest downer. I come out pretty angry to be honest. I hopped out and pretty grumpy and stuff just because we uh, we, we we let Triple um, Eight back into it when we had them out, and that that was frustrating. Put pressure on you that you didn't need. So, but you know you just had to back that um, that you were gonna you're gonna bounce out of it. So um, that's sort of how we got out of it. But that that was by far the low. Just the way. It unraveled. It was out of your control, and uh, we, we we had them out of the championship, and we let them back in. So that was um, that was the hardest thing. Uh, I guess I'm just curious if you think Chaz would have taken the championship win had he not had that accident, or do you believe he had it covered with a bit of reserve in your team? Um, who knows? Um, you know, I thought I thought we had him covered, but at the same time, he might have thought he had me covered. So. Um, he said, she said type thing, but um, yeah, who knows? You know, at Bathurst, we were, we were quicker than what he was, um, but, you know, he, he had good qualifying speed, so there's no doubt he would have been quick come the back end of the championship, but, um, you know, up to that point, we were leading, and, uh, uh, you know, who knows? It, it's a million-dollar question, but you believe that you did, and... and uh, um, you know, he'll have his opportunity again next year and the year after and the year after that to, to fight for it. But at um, the uh, end of the day, you know, you, you make mistakes and it, it costs you in our game. And unfortunately for him, it, it cost him big time up there. So, um, yeah, just one of those things. But I'm sure he's going to win a championship because he's only young, he's very quick, he's got a great team. And, um, yeah, he, he's got plenty of time left to win one. So... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens in the, in the you know, years to come. Uh, congratulations on the championship. After being at Sydney and watching the podium, do you think that this was a definite moment, a, def a definitive moment in your career? So it's sort of as a get one, want more. Um, I got one and that was, I was happy with that, to be honest. But, yeah, definitely want more. It's, it's um, you know, and I, and I think we can get more. I really think that... Uh, uh, this could open up the doors. We saw our team when we win Bathurst that the next year we go straight back and win it. Um, year after we go straight back on the podium. It's, I think, you know, it's a confidence and, and belief that our team needed to to prove to them that we are good enough because 
when you read all those things that people say and stuff and the team read them, but some of them question themselves and the team and whatever, but now there's no way of, uh, of questioning what our team's done. So, um, yeah, so no, it's really, uh, really cool. Uh, how do you study your nerves before a big race? Um, for us, we, uh, you know, we just sit in the truck and chat with each other. It's really cool with the drivers that we've got. Um, and yeah, it was, it's really cool to, to sit there with Dave and Chaz and, and, um, Cam Waters and Andre and Chris Pither and stuff. We just sit there and, and just have a laugh, to be honest. So, um, it's nice to have good friends around you. They're also competitors, but they're your teammates and, and, uh, yeah, that, that's sort of how you get through it, which is, which is really cool. Uh, we'll do one or two more. Um. Will you have a new toy or same ones uh, with the race car? Sorry, yep. Well, um, uh, my car's actually two years old, so um, I think Chaz will get the next new one because he's he's had uh, a few crashes and stuff, so he's, he's due for another new one. Um, for me, I'll get one uh, early in the year, I think, so which will be really good. Mine's yeah, a couple of years old, hasn't had many hits, so it's still probably the straightest car in the workshop, but, um, but they, it is a couple of years old. So uh, now with the DVS program that our team have, that have, have announced and, um, and stuff, we've got plenty of drivers and, and uh, you know, wanting to use our cars. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I think I will get a new one next year, which will be, uh, which will be pretty cool. All right, we'll do this as the last one. Um, will you see your career out in VAT supercars or do you have other plans? Um, I've got three more years, so I'll be 38 then. Um, but uh, yeah, vets are really cool. Maybe one day, um, you know, I'd look at Brazil or something as an option. But other than that, there's not really much out there that you'd want to leave this category to go to. And um, you know, it's nice to be at one team for a long time too, with, with loyalty and all that sort of stuff. So. Um, We'll see what the future brings, but I'm definitely going nowhere for three years. So uh, plenty more racing to do then. So, all right. Well, thanks, guys. We'll give you um, a chance to post some photos. We might uh, leave it tonight, let them um, go up, and then in 24 hours we'll have a look. But, yeah, this is the thermal race shirt. I'll sign it. Um, you know, I think it's pretty cool. It's a championship one. Um, there's only three of these in available i'll keep the other two so um yeah i think it's a pretty cool price so post a photo of uh of you with me or you with the car and and um we'll pick the best one so thanks guys and thanks for all the support in 2015 it's really cool to finally win this this championship and um i think we can win more so uh keep supporting us have a great christmas um be safe and a great new year, and we'll see you in January. So thanks, guys.